Fall Out Boy? Uh, oh, I did see Fall Out Boy. Sugar now, it's swinging. Oh, see, sorry. Uh, so, uh, right around the corner from my house, uh, we have the Booth Museum of Natural History. It's a great little museum. It's got lots of taxidermy in it, lots of birds, and at the back are loads of skeletons. They've got a human skeleton, they've got a little orangutan skeleton, they've got a killer whale skeleton. And it's pretty interesting to see. It smells a bit in there, but uh, it's all free, and everything was killed by uh, Mr. Booth. It's a terrible man. But. <laughs> Excellent. And on a scale of 1 to 2, it would be a 2. Okay. Of course. A scale of 1 to 4, it would be a 1. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Joe will be off from talking into a fan. Thanks for coming to the show, everybody. Jalabi Afra in the flesh. Here we go. Hey, Derek, we gotta get a, a smile over here. There we are. There it is. Okay, wait. I'm coming from all angles. All right. Okay, great. Thank you so much. I really appreciate oh. that. Okay. <laughs> Chris, where'd you get that gum? Did you steal it? <laughs> No. So we went we went down the street to a store called Ratio. It's like Walmart over here, and uh, it was five euro for a nine volt battery. And so I was not willing to spend thirty euro for six batteries because I'm a badass. Basically. Uh, so we spent three hundred. So we spent three hundred. Uh, we tried to steal them for no batteries, which we're not very good at. So we got caught. Uh, Called up into their little holding cell room, yelled at in German while the guy at the store pretended not to speak English. Did anyone slap you in the face? No. That would have been awesome. Besides, what think. Really True German police don't have guns? No, they, oh, they had guns. guns. They had oh, guns? Yeah. I thought about running again, but I saw the guy. Did you see a taser? No, that's a taser. But they have handcuffs? No, it's no. handcuffs. Although we were told that we were going to get handcuffed and sent to jail by the man at the store, which is scary. I mean, I'll say fortunately, there was two female police officers that were at the grocery store, and I picked up a little German, and I, was, I studied abroad for a year in Germany, and I picked up a little German, and I learned some of the customs and how to kind of speak to German women, I guess. So, what originally started off to, these guys were going to spend at least a year in prison maybe in Germany and be banned. Part of the Interpol system turned into, I'll see you at the show tonight on the guest list and we should meet up and, and all of a sudden we're all staying at their house tonight. So we turned a bad situation to a great situation and we love Germany. Thank you for having us. Serious, you gotta find Sean and stop what he's doing. <laughs>